90-day fiancé Patrick Mendes faces changing after extraordinary weight loss milestone, his recent transformation in pictures. Hello lovely viewers and welcome back to Vogue America new episode with Ben L. Star Patrick Mendes has transformed himself after losing weight since he became a part of the franchise with Ties Ramon. Patrick is a 33-year-old former professional weightlifter. Patrick was previously married to a woman he had met while working out 24-7 at the gym. She was reportedly working for the FBI and a weightlifter as well while being Patrick's first girlfriend. However, Patrick's first marriage ended in divorce, and he happened to get married to Brazilian model Ties on 90 Day Fiancé Season 9 after bringing her to the U.S. on a K-1 visa. Patrick and Ties' relationship faced challenges thanks to her father not being accepting of the American man and Patrick's brother John McManus' interference in their marriage. The couple stayed together despite the issues and welcomed a daughter in 2022. In the current season, Patrick and Ties flew to Brazil to celebrate their daughter Alizi's first birthday with Ties' family. It also allowed Patrick to bond with Ties' father and his own dad, who lived there. While fans watched Patrick and Ties' 90-day fiancé storyline, there's also been an interest in Patrick's incredible fitness journey. Patrick's photos when he was a teenager. During his first interview with 90-day fiancé, Patrick revealed that he began competing in sports when he was 9 years old. Patrick discovered his passion for weightlifting when he went to high school. He met his weightlifting coach John Bros there and realized that being stronger than everyone else was something he was good at. He decided to pursue weightlifting at a professional level. He played baseball and football in high school. In his interview with Optibita, Patrick revealed he was an all-state football player and even had a scholarship to a school in Nebraska. He weighed 270 pounds. Patrick's weightlifting journey began early. However, Patrick dedicated his whole life to lifting. He said his lifestyle was the best lifestyle to be good at weightlifting. Patrick trained for a year and a half, and he became one of the strongest people in the country. His best squat was 800 pounds. On an average day, he would wake up at 7 a.m., eat cereal, have a protein shake, train, eat eggs, sleep, train, eat, train again, eat, and then go back to bed. He was training seven days a week and followed a Bulgarian method as advised by his coach. Patrick made it to the U.S. national team and competed in the national championship despite having a back injury and won twice. As per Sports Gita, Patrick participated in the Pan American Games in Mexico and also in the World Championships in Paris, France. However, Patrick had to quit weightlifting for some time in 2011 when he was experiencing extreme pain in his hip and was diagnosed with a torn labrum. I got up to 299 molds during my weightlifting career, Patrick wrote in an Instagram post from October 2022. Patrick did get back to participating in heavyweight championships after recovering. However, right before the 2012 Olympic Games, Patrick tested positive for HEA, which is human growth hormone. It's a performance-enhancing drug which is banned by all sports. The US Anti-Doping Agency, USADA, announced they had suspended him for two years after discovering his use of HEA. Patrick was 21 years old at the time. While he did make a comeback, he tested positive for dimethyl testosterone, another banned substance, at the 2015 Pan Am Games. Since it was his second offense, it basically ruined his career. Meanwhile, Patrick kept altering his physique with changes in his routine. In August 2014, Patrick revealed he weighed 104.6 kilograms. In a different post, Patrick explained how, from 2011 to 2014, he had been a lot of different sizes. Patrick felt like he had perfected his diet. He shared three photos from different life stages to show how his face and body had changed. 90-day fiancé Jasmine Pineda catches Gino with his pants down. In the latest explosive 90-day fiancé Caesar for the happily ever after tell-all, Jasmine Pineda catches Gino Palazzolo with his pants down, revealing his shocking addiction. So what else do teasers have to reveal about upcoming scenes? As 90 Day Fiance fans have seen over the years, the tell-all has evolved in a big way. TLC started by splitting the segments into multiple parts instead of spilling all the tea in one shot. Of course, there are strategic reasons for this. The network can essentially milk more content out of what they are already filming. This also fills time slots for a few more weeks, with episodes stretching things out even more. Based on teasers for this upcoming happily ever after tell-all, the network is upping the ant even more by having all of the couples stay under the roof of a single mansion. Of course, when you have explosive personalities like Jasmine Pineda, Angela Dean, Big Ed Brown, 
and Thais Ramon all in the same place. That is a guaranteed recipe for drama. In Tell All Spoilers for Upcoming Scenes, Jasmine Pineda makes a shocking confession about Gina Palazzolo based on what she discovered. According to Jasmine, she has caught Gina watching adult content more often than she would like to admit. This is particularly interesting in their storyline because Jasmine has made no secret about Gino struggling to perform at times when the pair become intimate. Based on her account of things, he seems to have no issue when it comes to him watching the type of material that he likes. Jasmine Pineda even threatens to reveal what was in his search history last in terms of the kinds of videos he was looking for. So overall, this is explosive in more ways than one based on teasers. Gino Palazzolo unable to deliver in the bedroom is a topic that comes up again, even after all of the 90-day fiance couples move into the mansion. The way Gino tells it, the way Jasmine constantly puts him down seems to get in his head, which then hinders things like his desire for her, and ultimately, his ability to perform. This bit of information in 90-day fiance Caesars is also relevant considering all of the split chatter between Gino and Jasmine that has been circulating online over the last few weeks.